Okay, so we completed the first time setup. Um, during the first time setup, we did a complete full channel scan. Uh, but what I want to show you is a couple of other types of channel scan that you can do from the system menu. So if I hit the menu key uh, and uh, arrow down to channel scan, the first option, full channel scan, this is what we did from the first time setup. It does a full channel scan. And obviously, this uh, if you choose this option, it wipes out your current channel map and performs a complete new scan. Uh, since we already done that, I don't want to do that. I'll go ahead and cancel out of this. Now, the second one, this additive channel scan, as the name implies, um, will keep your existing channels uh, and it will scan for anything new that might have been added by broadcasters or maybe some channels that uh, had marginal signals and were not picked up in the previous scan. So let's try that one. Go ahead, uh, additive channel scan. Now that one doesn't give me a warning because we're not going to lose anything even if we hit it by mistake. So um, now since we already did a channel scan uh, pretty recently i don't expect to pick anything new up here but there is a slight chance that maybe there are one or two marginal channel scans marginal channels that uh, have marginal signals that did not get picked up in the previous scan uh, that might get picked up here um, now, another thing I wanted to mention, uh, if you look at the signal to noise ratio, uh, that is really the main number that it kind of gives you an idea whether uh, how good of a signal you have for a particular RF channel. Uh, in my experience, anything with the signal to noise ratio below 20 um, probably will not be um, may not be watchable if it is it may have a lot of macro blocking for example rf channel 14 you can see the, the signal level is minus 62 dbm and the snr signal to noise ratio is 13 so that kind of tells me channel 22-1 and 5 those are french channels um most likely they may not be watchable as i said um so again since we've done a recent scan i i don't expect to pick anything new here so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and back key to uh, stop this Okay, and press OK to exit. Now, a second option uh, is to do a single frequency scan. So, if you want, if you know exactly what RF channel you want to scan, um, you can do a single frequency scan, which would be much faster. Uh, as an example, let's say we want to rescan RF channel 31, which contains the ATSC3 channel. So if I press OK, you can see now we're only scanning that, that one RF channel 31, and uh, this should not take very long at all. It should be completed here in a few seconds. It's done, and we didn't pick up any new channels and I wasn't expecting to, but uh, just, um, again, another option uh, which may become handy if uh, a new, um, some new channels are added on a particular RF channel uh, that you find out about and you want to do a quick scan. So I'll go ahead, press OK. And so that wraps up the channel scan chapter.